This afternoon, Secretary Jennifer Granholm toured the new regional offshore wind hub in Providence. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer was there and has more on why the secretary says Rhode Island is a leader in offshore wind. Brittany. Well, Shannon, Secretary Jennifer Granholm says it's a special tour for her because the project was approved by the Biden administration. She tells me it is an incredible opportunity for the state and offers a lot of possibilities. U.S. Secretary of Energy Jennifer Granholm says Rhode Island is at the forefront of offshore wind. Rhode Island is number one in terms of being first out of the barrel. The Block Island wind farm was the first of its kind in the country, but now Providence is adding to the success. A 228 foot long regional offshore wind hub is currently under construction by the city's port. Secretary Granholm tells me it will help lower energy costs, offer union jobs and cut down on air pollution. Well, you're seeing obviously this building go up right here with means that, um, you know, the building trades are being put to work right now. Then they're going to be not just building the building, but actually the turbines themselves. Governor Dan McKee says the Orsted and Eversource facility will serve as the base to support the entire offshore wind supply chain needed on the East Coast. We'll eventually play host to the fabrication and assembly of foundation platforms for the entire Northeast portfolio of wind farms. And this is the first facility of its kind in the United States. For states like Rhode Island to be in the lead on constructing wind turbines, making sure that they install them here for Rhode Island's use, but also for export to other states along the Atlantic coast. And coming up new at six, what Secretary Granholm says about energy costs in the next few colder months, as well as gasoline prices. For now, live in Providence, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News. Rhode Island's newest offshore wind project getting a special visitor today, the U.S. Energy of Secretary. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer was at the tour and spoke one-on-one -on -one with Secretary Jennifer Granholm. She joins us now live with how this facility will affect Rhode Islanders. Hi, Brittany. Well, hi, Kim Shannon. The Block Island offshore wind farm was the first in the country, but now Providence is adding to that success and along with it, dozens of union jobs. The Port of Providence's regional offshore wind hub is under construction, but the U.S. Secretary of Energy says she's already impressed. Rhode Island is, is uh, right at the forefront of offshore wind. The 228 foot long regional offshore wind project is the first of its kind in the country. Secretary Jennifer Granholm tells me it will help lower energy costs, offer union jobs and cut down on air pollution. First of all, you're seeing obviously this building go up right here with means that, um, you know, the building trades are being put to work right now. Then they're going to be not just building the building, but actually the turbines themselves. Here in Rhode Island, uh, being this um, place where we're we're structured in a way where we're leading the charge. This renewable energy project coming at a time where Rhode Islanders are dealing with higher prices for natural and non-renewable resources for heat and driving. Granholm tells me the American Rescue Act sent millions of dollars in funding for states to help people who cannot afford to heat their homes. She says that money should be distributed soon along with lower prices at the gas station. No president controls the price. Every president wishes they could. However, this president has said we are going to increase supply to bring the price down. People should start to see some relief at the pump. And Rhode Island was just one of Secretary Granholm's stops in the Northeast. She's also visiting sites in Connecticut and Massachusetts. For now, live in Providence, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.